Welcome back, Eduk 2000 Section 1 students. This is a virtual tour of our course because we won't be meeting in person until week three of the semester. So I want you to jump in and get started. And this way I can show you around our Canvas site and help you to become familiar with it. So the first thing that I'm going to do here in our tour is to show you the home page which we have here. This is what you will arrive at when you first log into our Canvas course site. And what you see here, these pictures I will talk about in person, but they are actually the core of what our class is about, which is challenging you to try and make lots of glorious mistakes and see things from many different perspectives. When you look at this page, if you want to go to a particular week during our course, you can always click on that and it will take you directly to it. So that's what you can see from this home page. On the side here of the home page, you will see links that take you to specific parts of Canvas. I'm going to go through the syllabus and then modules and then grades. So let's take a look then at the syllabus. I don't expect you to go through this in great detail because I know it can be quite dry to go through a syllabus at the start of the semester, but I would like you to take a glance at it and look at some key aspects of it that I'll point out. The first thing is um, my where my office is and my phone, whoopsie, my phone number. Um, the office is in the Education Building 120 and this is the best way to reach me is by cell phone. You can actually text me, <clears throat> but you can leave a message on my voicemail. This is where you sign up for my office hours and if you click on that, it takes you to a Google Doc and on the Google Doc I post the hours for the week and what you need to do if you want to meet with me is click next to the time or times that work for you and put your first name and last initial. Don't put your last name because it's a public document. So that's what my office hours are and that's how you get to sign up there. The I took take you through some of the usual things in the syllabus. What I would like you to look through is this table on the course outcomes. Looking at the kinds of things, the outcomes that I have for you, and the types of um, assignments or assessments that you'll be doing, I hope that you'll see that these are kind of fun things. By the end of this course you're going to be able to do a bunch of really exciting things with technology. Scrolling down here, the course requirements. Do read this carefully, all right, because this gives you um, a good insight into what I'm expecting of you. So that's that part of the syllabus, and then the other things that you're used to about diversity statement, which is very important to me. I really value you each as individuals because of who you are. How we grade, this course operates on a contract grade system. So there are no points for anything. You contract for an A, B, or C. You decide what you want to do, and that is the work that you do for the semester. At the bottom of the syllabus, there are links to the assignments that are due each week. So if you want to get to those through the syllabus, you can. If we scroll back up here, let's take a look at the grades. Grades there are no grades for the course, you contract for one, but this is where you will get your feedback from me. And the feedback is important because the grade that you will get, the score you actually get, is it will either say complete or at standard or incomplete, which means it's not at standard yet. And I will provide you with feedback that you need to fix those areas of the, the work that, that are not quite right yet and then resubmit it. And then it's at standard. That's all that there is, so you don't have to worry about points. Now, a very important part of the grades where it's, it says show all details. When you click on that, um, once I have given you feedback under each assignment, you will actually see a paragraph where I provide detailed feedback. So do remember the hide details, show details button so that you can look at that feedback. Let's take a look at the modules, which is really the heart of the course. In our Canvas section course, it looks a bit like Moodle where you have each week or module or unit uh, for the course, but the difference between Canvas and Moodle is you can actually close these off with this little arrow, which makes it much easier to navigate the course because you don't have to scroll all the way down. So if you want to go through your Canvas site and close off all of these little 
arrows here. That way you can get to see at an overview of what the course is about. Now, let's start with the general resources. So in the general resources section, this is where I provide links to various resources that you will be able to use throughout the semester and that you might want to refer to. The first of these is the Google Meet, which used to be Google Hangout link. When you click on that link, what it will do is it takes you to our Google Meeting Room. Now, if you can't make class in person, if you're ill and at home, but you don't want to miss class, if you come here, you can actually join us from your bed. You click on Join Meeting. There I am, talking to you. And this is me, but you will be able to see um, I'll be able to see you and you'll be able to see me and the rest of the class and participate in class from home without having to miss class. So that's what that link is for. Let's go back to here. Help Ask Helen is important because if you get stuck and you have questions, but not in class but after class, you can always come to this link. And when you go to this, what it, it's designed is to, for you to ask questions not only of me but each other. So you come here and you will click on the reply link here and post your question. What you can also do is respond to each other. If you see somebody's asked a question that you can answer, I encourage you to do that. So here I give you the purpose of this and you can look at that later. So that's the Help Ask Helen. The blog guidelines and framework and the portfolio guidelines are very important for you to look at after you've watched this video because these will describe what I expect you to do for the blog, which you will do if you're contracting for an A or B, and the portfolio if you're going to contract for an A. This here is a link to our Edu2000 Facebook page, which I have open here, and I have created a Facebook page that we will be using as a course, as a class, to post for the world things that we're learning about. And together you will see how you can guide elementary age students who don't have Facebook, but who can work with you as a teacher to celebrate their learning and share with the community. I'll also share various things with you that you might find um, helpful for you in teaching and learning. So that's the Facebook page. The Twitter link, we have a Twitter hashtag. And in, for our Twitter hashtag, what I have, um, I will be tweeting out things that, that I find about technology for teaching and learning and will encourage you to use that as well. More of that later. So that's the general resources. Now we come to this, the first two weeks of the semester and this is what you'll be working on before we meet in person during week three. So the first thing is to read the email that I sent you and you'll know that because that's how you know to watch this video. The next part is this welcome and a virtual open house. So there's the two videos, the one where I introduce myself to you and the second one um, about the virtual tour that's in there. The next one, very important for you to do right away, is I want you to click on this link to sign up to meet with me. Now what you will do is I want to meet with each of you for five minutes starting the very first day of the semester, January 10th. Uh, to, so I can just get to know you so I don't wait until week three. But also what you will do is you will, I will give you an iPad that you will use for the semester. So if you click on the link once you're here to a Google Doc, again it takes you to a sign up where you will be able to sign up to meet with me starting from 10 o'clock on January the 10th and uh, I will give you your iPad. So that's that part. The next thing that you need to do is click on this link which is to getting to know your iPad and the Canvas site and here I guide you through what I want you to do, how I want you to become one with your iPad, some specific things to do with your iPad, I want you to take photos so you'll bring those to class in week three and then about exploring the Canvas site. So that's that. Let's come back to here. The pre-course survey I ask you to complete Again, if you click on that, it will take you to a description of what I want you to do here and it takes you to the survey. These are confidential questions. I start off with some basic ones, but then I ask you to tell me more about yourself so that I can meet your specific individual needs. That's the course survey. Last, and this is probably the biggest thing you have to do this week, is I want you to set up a Weebly site. 
that you will be using throughout the semester if you're doing an A or B contract. But even if you're going for a C contract, what you will do is I want you to set up a Weebly site so you can see what to do with it. So this here describes what you have to do. You'll notice there's a submit assignment button. So there's something to deliver as a result of this. You will set up a Weebly site um, following the di and, and a blog following the directions for this. So you'll come here, you'll click on this. When you're done with it, and you're ready to submit the URL of your site, you will come to the Submit Assignment button and submit your assignment. And to submit the assignment, you click on that and you'll be asked to paste in a URL. So here, if you click on the Create a Weebly site, you will see that I take you through step by step. I always give you in an assignment the purpose of the assignment, then the tasks. So watch this video, then go to this link and sign up for a Weebly site. I have screenshots showing you what to do, how to pick a theme, how to choose a domain, a free domain, publish your site, then you carry on down. I want you to share the URL of your site and I show you how to do that. And then you'll compose a first blog entry and first in your Google Doc and then you actually go to Weebly and you will publish it there. So that's that setting up the, the, the Weebly blog and assignment. When we meet week three, uh, I will have already seen the work that you've done. I've met you individually and we'll meet as a class. Now, as you look through our, our Canvas course, and you, if you open these, these arrows here, you'll see that I have in-class, follow-up for class. I usually have prepare, in-class, follow-up. Now, so far there are not you won't see much here because I haven't opened up yet what is under prepare for class and in class. But each week there will be things that you need to do to prepare for class and in class. There also under the follow up class from class are assignments and so for week four that's when your contract grade is due. You will see that each week as a follow up from class there's a blog and a portfolio due. Additionally whatever the topic is, for example, this week on using photos and for teaching and learning, there will be a task that you need to do that will also appear in the follow-up from, from class. So that, in a nutshell, is the overview of our Canvas site. Now, here is your task, which is an assignment um, for you to do this week. It's the, the, the assignment that you have to do from the virtual and uh, open house. So you will be reading this here and at the end of this I see I ask you to submit an assignment. For your assignment what you have to do is respond to these questions. So at this point you might even want to pause the video so that you can copy down these questions or take a photograph of them so that you have them. So first question for you to answer and that you will type up on a document so that you can submit it in Canvas is from the syllabus, what is my office address and my cell phone number? Then from the modules, if you can't join class in person and would like to join online, under what section in Canvas do you go to find the link to our class Google Meet? Next question, what is the purpose of the Help Ask Helen and each other forum? So you actually have to go to the forum and read the explanation there to answer that question. Then, this is from the first video that you watched where I introduced myself. What are you curious about knowing about me based on what I shared in that video? So anything that I shared there or photos that I showed, I want you to come up with one question that you'd like to know more about. You may have more than one question and you're welcome to answer that, ask those too. Last question for your task here is, what are you curious about learning this semester in this course? So. As you've gone through the virtual tour and you've explored, explored our Canvas site, what would you are you most interested in learning about? All right, so when you've done that, what you will do is you will come here and click on the Submit Assignment button and paste your answers. So type your answers up in, in a Google Doc or in some in a Word document and paste them into the Assignment Submission box and click Submit. And I look forward to seeing your questions and your answers there. All right, take care and I will see you for your five-minute meeting with me and then in week three. Thanks, everyone.